This is Richard Smith with the Kansas City Chiefs Power Hour Podcast, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs. How are we doing, Kansas City? It is Wednesday, August 15th, and it is time to talk some football. Time to talk some football. Um, You know, I I just have to say um, a few things, and I really, really need to start out with one huge, huge, huge thing that's really, really, really getting on my nerves. Um, And I couldn't even finish my uh, my notes for this uh, broadcast today because uh, it just really bothered me to see what was going on. I'm going to pick on Arrowhead Pride. I love you, Arrowhead Pride. You all put out some great news. But stop exposing our defensive schemes. Why are you breaking down our uh, defensive schemes? That's not your job. Your job is to report the news. Stop exposing our defensive schemes. I understand you're talking about the personnel and running a 4-2-5 defense. But why are you exposing that? Keep your mouth shut, Arrowhead Pride. Find something else to talk about. If you do not understand that when you expose our defensive schemes, there are other teams that are watching that. There are other teams that understand, you know, the implications of of that defensive scheme. And yes, it's great and it's amazing that we might be able to finally run that. I do not agree with that personally, but hey, to each their own. But Arrowhead Pride, cut it out. Stop exposing our defense because anybody can get on that website. And I'm pretty sure that every single team in the AFC West knows about Arrowhead Pride. So, with that being said, I would like to move on because I'm pretty hot about that subject. And they just, that that's not using common sense, lack of common sense. And I would truly hope the Kansas City Chiefs organization would contact them and tell them to keep their mouths closed. So, anyway... Jalen Ramsey. Let's talk about Jalen Ramsey a little bit. He has uh, been running his mouth this week as well. Um, You know, it's kind of a week of people talking out of the side of their neck and not really uh, um, keeping in mind, you know, the projection of the season and where things are headed. And, you know, you know, when people... When people talk without thinking, it just really it, it, it kind of puts everybody in a situation that, that's not good. So, but Jalen Ramsey, he's just talking trash on so many different quarterbacks, so many different quarterbacks, and uh, he also said that he was going to press Tyreek. Um, uh, what is it, week five that we play them? Um, wh- whatever week it is, he said he's got, he's going to get up. He's going to press Tyreek. So, at Kansas City. Uh, with that being said, I look for some touchdowns um, against uh, you know Jack. Jacksonville. I, I look for I look for Tyreek Hill to really bust some open because if you're going to press Tyreek with world class speed, um, you know you really you're really just asking for trouble. So if you press him and you you know you're in a bump and run situation as Tyreek would be in, you know how are you going to stop him once he gets around you? And Mahomes being a, a player who extends plays, um, you know that works in our favor. So go ahead, Jalen. Uh, you you know press Tyreek. You know, see what happens. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that, you know, Jalen's putting his foot in his mouth, and that happens from fi- time to time. Um, but we'll just expose that. We'll go ahead and expose that instead of our own defense, uh, instead of our own defensive schemes. So, um, you know, this is one of those... Uh, Broadcast where you know it's the middle of the week. Um, I don't even have an injury report because I was just so upset at Arrowhead Pride for for exposing exposing that. It just doesn't doesn't make any sense. So um, t- the top five um, wide receiver duos in the NFL w- were released, and the Kansas City Chiefs were number five. You know, I honestly expect them to be a little bit higher than number five, but that's one of those situations that as Pat Mahomes grows and goes more accustomed to our, our offensive scheme and, you know, the leadership role that we have him in, um, I can't really see um, being any uh, higher than five. You know, uh, me personally, I think we all know that Sammy Watkins and Tyreek Hill is an incredible receiving combination, and, and nobody should take that lightly. But we still have to see him on the field. So for them to be at number five without ever seeing anything, that's great. That's great news. I, I love I love to see it. I love to see it. Um, you know, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, other than that, you look, this is an extremely, extremely short uh, uh, broadcast. I just... You know, I'm doing my research and, you know, getting on here and, and, you know, doing the broadcast. You know, just like any other analyst, uh, you have to do your research. You have to, 
um, dig and you have to find find news about about your team. But I, I love Arrowhead Pride. I'm not knocking them. I'm not saying anything against them. But keep your mouth shut. Like for really, really. Does that even make any sense, Kansas City, at all? Does it make any sense at all? Let's go ahead and let's break down all these coverages and let's put on like 15 videos so we can show the other teams exactly how we're going to do this press press defense. That just, hey, look, that makes no sense at all. None, 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 none. So, Arrowhead Pride, leave that to the coaches. Leave it to the coaches. Leave it to the coaches. Leave it to the organization because I'm going to keep calling you out if you keep doing it. Um, It's just absolutely ridiculous. And do you want us to win a Super Bowl? I mean, do you really? Do you want us to win a Super Bowl? If so, keep your mouth shut. Anyway, moving on. Look, Kansas City, don't don't be mistaken about everything that's going on here in the preseason. I doubt that we're even putting out our true offensive and defensive schemes, you know, if Arrowhead Pride can keep their mouth shut for a little while. Um, you know, we might have a chance this season. So, um, with that being said, uh, air it out, Mahomes, 85 yards deep, you know, Tyree Kill, Sammy Watkins, Travis Kelsey, um, Kareem Hunt, uh, Chris Conley. Great, great starting lineup for our skill set players on the offensive side. Um, and, and, you know, all of our defensive studs as well. Look, we're going to have a good season. It's one of those things that um, sometimes it takes time to get the team to mold together. And when that takes time, you have to just understand that it's not all going to come together at once. It's not going to all come together at once. So just keep your composure, Kansas City. Arrowhead pride. Keep your mouth shut about our schemes. And, you know, let's go out there and play some ball. I love you all. This is not a shot at Arrowhead Pride, but come on, Kansas City. I hope you all would agree with me on that. Um, you know, and that's something, even ESPN, you know, they're they're allowed to break down schemes, but they're not breaking them down like Arrowhead Pride is. Like, stop digging. Stop digging, Arrowhead Pride. Keep that to yourself. Keep all that stuff to yourself. There's a reason why training some training camps and stuff are, are um, you know, that the, the, there's no cameras involved. So keep your mouth shut. So anyway, um, I'm going to end this podcast. Uh, You know, I have some more research to do. I really, really didn't want to do a podcast like this because I love Kansas City. I love Arrowhead Pride. I love the Kansas City Chiefs, and I love Chiefs Kingdom. But sometimes you got to put a little bird in somebody's ear who is talking out of the side of their neck. So anyway... This is Richard Smith with the Kansas City Chiefs Power Hour podcast, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs.